We're bringing back fondue from the 80s, but it won't be vegetables dipped in gloppy cheese. Instead, you'll be dipping shrimp into roasted garlic butter fondue. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We show you recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips too. Now we try and keep this simple for everyone, especially those of you out there who say that you just can't do it, because we know you can. So if you like this episode, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and watch a new episode each week. Today, our celebration begins with my probably number one favorite recipe next to Scottish shortbread. This recipe is called Roasted Garlic Butter Shrimp Fondue. It's a mouthful, but it's worth it. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the butter, and that Actually, we need garlic to make the garlic butter fondue. So I have a couple heads of garlic here, and we're gonna roast these. Now we need to do a little prep work first. It's very easy to roast garlic. Simply, carefully cut off the top, just like that, so you expose the inside of the garlic. I'll do the other one. Nice sharp knife helps. Just be careful. There we go. How beautiful is that? Now we just need a piece of foil. Just going to put the garlic on the foil, the bottoms and the tops. You can remove any little loose paper. That's fine, we don't need that. Now, we just need a little bit of olive oil. Just a drizzle. Any old olive oil, doesn't need to be extra virgin, just plain. And a pinch of salt. Okay, now we're just gonna wrap this up. Into a little package like that. Now this will go into an oven that's heated to 350 degrees, and it'll take about an hour and you'll know because your home will fill up with this wonderful, wonderful smell of roasting garlic. So I'm gonna put this aside. And here's one I did earlier today and I let it cool. You want to let it cool because believe it or not, garlic has some sugars in it and they will get screaming, screaming hot. So here we go. Now this is what garlic looks like once it's roasted. It's turned brown, it's very, very soft. This is a great thing to keep around too. Now, the butter. I have in my pan here melted a whole pound of butter. I'm using salted butter for this. And it's just this simple. You just squeeze it in. See how soft that is? Luscious. We wanna get these tops too. And this is great, great appetizer. This is the very first recipe I made up. Here we go. Beautiful. One more. All right, let's put this aside. Now, we just need to blend this together. I'm gonna to use my handy dandy immersion blender. You see me use this a lot. Great tool to have, you can get these for under $20. If you don't have one, you can just whisk it really well or you can put it in your food processor or blender if you have one of those. Do this carefully because this butter is warm. You really, you're just breaking up the garlic just enough. And just that fast it goes because it's so softened. 
Now we're going to put this in an airtight container. Ideally, you're going to want to make this the night before you plan to serve it because you want all of those flavors to come together. So we're going to put this in an airtight container and pop it in the fridge until we're ready to use it. Okay, our next step is that we're going to cook the shrimp. Now we're going to be steaming the shrimp, not boiling. Don't ever boil shrimp. Steam them. So in my steamer here, I have a nice little concoction. I've got a couple inches of water. I added about a half a cup of red wine vinegar and a lemon that I cut up and I squeezed the juice out and then I threw the rind in as well. So one more ingredient. I have about three tablespoons of Old Bay seasoning. Now this is Old Bay seasoning. It's very popular here on the East Coast. If you can't find this, it's usually by the spices in your grocery store. If you can't find it, you'll find something similar or it might be by the fish market, the fish counter in your supermarket. So if you can't find it, I would ask the guys behind the fish counter. They'll probably know something similar. Okay, so we've got this going. Let's talk shrimp. I have a few shrimp here that I've cleaned and peeled. I actually brought them frozen. These come uh, already cleaned for me and they're easy peel. So the shell is on them, but I took the shells off and you see that it's size 16 to 20 per pound. That's perfect size for an appetizer. But with this appetizer, you really have to do portion control. Maybe, maybe five or six people. So this is going pretty good. I'm gonna turn it up a tiny bit. And we're going to put these right in the steamer. Ha, ha, ha. Dump them in. Put the lid on. Now you only want to steam these for two or three minutes. You want them to still be a little translucent inside. You don't want them to be fully, fully cooked. And that's because we're going to finish them cooking in the garlic butter. So if they're fully cooked here, they're going to be overcooked here and you're going to have rubber. So while these go, I start to tell you, this was the first recipe I made up. And when Phil and I first got together and we're having our first dinner party, I needed to have an appetizer that just wowed our first guests. So I thought, well, I like shrimp scampi, and everyone I know likes shrimp scampi. So it came from there, really. It's all the flavors of that, garlic and butter and shrimp. All right, these are perfect just that fast. I'm going to pull these out and you will see these are not yet fully cooked. They're still a little translucent in the center, which is exactly what you want. I gave this recipe to a friend once and told her only three or four minutes. She thought I said 34 minutes. Don't, you don't want to know how that turned out. Okay, now here's how you do this recipe. Like any fondue, I've heated this up on my stove first. I'm very lucky that I have a cast iron fondue set that I could have on the stove and I got the butter really screaming, bubbling hot. Uh, and now I just have some tea lights under it because it's cast iron and it's holding the heat. Whatever type of set you have, you just want to be able to get the butter hot first, even if it means heating it in a separate pan on the stove and then putting it in. We take a shrimp on our fork and we put this right in the fondue pot. Give it a little stir around. Now what's happened is all the butter solids and the puree garlic have all fallen down to the bottom of the fondue pot. And on top is this wonderful clarified butter that has the garlic essence in it too. So while the shrimp is finishing cooking in here, it's just soaking all of that up. All right, this should be about done. Got my wine at the ready. Ooh, look at that. All that garlic and those butter solids. Now let's see if I can just pop this in. Mmm, wow. That is heaven. Don't worry about garlic breath, because if everyone has garlic breath, then no one has garlic breath. 
Besides, the roasted garlic is so much more milder and nutty almost. And with the butter, well, butter makes it all better, doesn't it? Let me wash this down. Hmm. That's nice. So that's our recipe for today. Roasted garlic butter shrimp fondue. I hope you're going to make this and have it at your next gathering or just maybe even on a random Tuesday night. Who knows? So as always, guys, I will have this recipe up on the comment section of YouTube. And you can always just follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Send us in those questions and send us in pictures of, of what you're making and how you're celebrating too. So we'll see you again next Tuesday at 7 when you all come back over and come on in and let's celebrate. Cheers.